now we take hold of hands and look at each other. And you go first this time. Okay. <laughs> Pam, I want to be for you. Pam, I want to be for you. Your lover, companion, and friend. Your lover, companion, and friend. Your ally in conflict. Your ally in conflict. Your comrade in adventure. Your comrade in adventure. Your consultant in adversity. Your consultant in adversity. Your confederate in revelry. Your confederate in revelry. Your accomplice <laughs> in mischief. Your accomplice in mischief. <laughs> and your associate in the search for enlightenment. And your associate in the search for enlightenment. And now you look at him <laughs> as you say. Robert, I want to be for you. Robert, I want to be for you. <coughs> your lover, companion, and friend. Your lover, <coughs> companion, and friend. Your ally in conflict. Your ally in conflict. Your comrade in adventure. Your comrade in adventure. Your consultant in adversity. Your consultant in adversity. Your confederate in revelry. Your confederate in revelry. Your accomplice in mischief. Your accomplice in mischief. <laughs> and your associate in search for enlightenment. And your associate in your search for enlightenment. Yeah. Uh, are there rings as symbols of your vows? Mm -hmm. Let me have it just for a moment. <laughs> this was planned, you know. <coughs> These rings are the symbols of the vows which you have taken, a circle, which in art is called the perfect form. And may these rings mark the beginning of what can be a long journey together filled with wonder, surprises, laughter, tears, and joy. And may these rings glow in the reflection of the warmth and the life which flows between the wearer today. And now you go first. And you put it on his finger and you repeat after me. Robert, I give you this ring. Robert, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. Knowing that love is precious yep. and fragile. Knowing that love is precious and fragile. Yet strong and joyful. Yet strong and joyful. I give you this sign of my love. I give you this sign of my love. An ever present symbol. An ever present symbol. Of the vows we have taken here today. Of the vows we've taken here today. I give you this ring as I give you my love. I give you this ring as I give you my love. Okay. And now you respond to her. Pam, as I receive your ring. Pam, as I receive your <laughs> ring. I pledge to love you as best I can. I pledge to love you as best I can. And to build with you joy and peace. And to build with you joy and peace. Okay, now here we go. And now you look at her. Pam, I give you this ring. Pam, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. Knowing that love is precious and fragile. Knowing that love is precious and fragile. Yet strong and joyful. Yet strong and joyful. I give you this sign of our love. I give you this sign of our love. An ever present symbol. An ever present symbol. Of the vows we have made here today. Of the vows we have made here today. I give you this ring as I give you my love. I give you this ring as I give you my love. And now you respond to him. Robert, as I receive your ring. Robert, as I receive your ring. I pledge to love you as best I can. I pledge to love you as best I can. And to build with you and joy and peace. And to build with you joy and peace. Okay, now hold hands. <coughs> now that which was just with you has been shared with us all. Explore it well. Explore it deeply. Treasure it reverently. I now declare that you are husband and wife, according to the Spirit, in just accord with our law, the witness of family and friends, but especially because of your love. And I invite you to take up the responsibility to keep alive, to grow, to change, to maintain the capacity for wonder, for spontaneity, for humor, especially <laughs> for humor, <laughs> to remain enthusiastic for each other and warm 
and pliable and sensitive. And I invite you to give fully, to show your real feelings, to save time for each other, no matter how busy you are. And I invite you to try to see the meaning of life through the changing prisms of your own love. That as you learn to love each other more deeply, you learn to love the creation in which the mystery of your love has happened. The Apaches have a blessing which uh, goes across more than just uh, one or two, but a whole half dozen or more spiritual traditions. It was what they called ascending forth. They said, now you'll feel less rain for each of you or a shelter for each other. Now you'll feel less cold for each of you or warmth for one another. Now there's less loneliness for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there's one life before you. Go then to your place of togetherness, and may your days be long and good on the face of the earth. So be it. So be it. Now would you like to just, you don't have to, but. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you feel better. <laughs> Go ahead. Now you turn and face the guests. It's a real pleasure to present to you Robert and Pam, husband and wife. And I'm sure they'll be happy to receive your greetings in whatever ways you find most appropriate. <laughs> Thank you.